Yeah, I'm out here in my Tesla again and uh, in this video I will reveal what kind of modifications I did to my Tesla. Some of you guys have been guessing and um, yeah, you're right. I insulated the panorama roof. Although this this stuff, it's um, it's the same. It's actually the foam you use to uh, put in uh, speakers. So uh, I bought it from uh, Biltema for about twenty dollars. You can probably get it from Walmart or something if you live in America. And the the set comes with five sheets, which is exactly what you need to insulate. The whole Tesla, the roof. Uh, do you see there are these sheets? They are 40 by 60 centimeters, about two centimeters thick. And you need two big sheets in the back and two big sheets in the front. And then the last sheet, you cut it up. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't actually do that. I didn't check how wide it is, but uh, you can figure out. And, uh, just cut it to the, the the needed length with a scissor. Yeah, that works just fine. So let me show you. Uh, all I have to do is just squeeze it in here. No need to use any glue or tape or anything. Uh, as you can see, it falls right out. Uh, yeah. By the way, that's that's a. I guess a disadvantage with this because it tends to gather a bit of moist. Not much, but uh, I guess I'll have to see what this does on a real long run, like 20 hour run. Okay, so here's the sheet. And the two one in the back, they don't have to be uh, cut at all. You can use it as it comes, like that, 40 times 60 centimeters. The front sheet has to be cut a little bit, not much, so it will fit. So I'll show you how to install this. It's really easy done by hand. All I have to do is just squeeze it in here, like this. So just squeeze it a little bit so it stays there. Like this, and then squeeze in there. And this is it tends to, yeah, hang over here like this. So I don't, know, I don't have any good ideas how to not make it, yeah, make it stay like that. Hmm. Yeah. Well, anyway, and then I take this last bit here. The last part, it's about know, 15 centimeters long or something, wide, I mean. Uh, I squeeze it in here, like this, final part. So, same procedure for the rear part, and there you go. Yeah, it's, hmm, there you go. Well, yeah, yeah, let me just fix that, maybe I can stretch a little bit here to make it less heavy there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys have any good ideas how to make this more flat, then well, please comment. This is kind of annoying. I don't want it to be that uh, low. And if I stretch over here... Yeah, what the heck. Okay. So, uh, what's the advantage of this uh, modification? Well, my first test on heat and energy consumption shows that uh, there is no difference between uh, this uh, insulation and without insulation. But I suspect that uh, my test run on 20 kilometers is not um, far enough. Uh, there could be other uh, variables that I didn't uh, consider. But um, yeah, we'll see. I'll uh, take it on a trip this weekend and uh, get more impressions from this. Another advantage is uh, noise. I have an analog uh, decibel meter and I measure about 65 decibel uh, running at 80 km per hour. But I got the same measurement uh, without uh, insulation. 
but in tunnel it seems like uh, the noise is better especially for high pitch noise high frequency noise uh, I didn't do a, a test with a decibel meter in tunnels yet but um, maybe I'll do that later and the third thing about uh, this insulation is that um, it improves acoustics in the car so if you love music you can probably hear it right now that there there's less echo so the the roof uh, takes away some of the echo which is nice yeah this is actually a nice uh, recording studio now hmm maybe i should do the voiceover over here instead <laughs> 